Hello, Brian the Fanboy here, and today I'm going to review the new Super Mario movie. Now, I know it's been a few weeks since the movie was released in theaters, but um, there was some other stuff that I want to get to first, and um, I also want to wait until after Easter. But anyway, um, yes, oh, and also uh, this is a spoiler review, so um, if, uh, if you don't want any spoilers and you want to watch the movie first, then uh, leave this video and come back when uh, you finish watching the movie. Yeah, and also about this movie, well, uh, I saw it in 3D with uh, 3D glasses. So anyway, uh, here's a review. No, um, the movie starts when Bowser, I kind of feel weird calling him that because, well, um, when I was a kid, I would call him Koopa because that was the name he was called in the cartoon. But anyway, yes, uh, Bowser and his forces, they uh, arrived at this uh, snow area and uh, met up with these blue penguins, which is actually a reference to Mario 64. Now, um, well, Bowser and his minions arrived and, well, the blue penguins came and uh, they threw snowballs at him and, and it didn't, uh, you know, affect him at all. And, well, the king penguin, he said that it was a, that was a taste of the powers and asked Bowser if he kills and Bowser said that he does not. And then Bowser, he breathed fire, then um, captured all the penguins and stole the power star. In the next scene, uh, there was a commercial for Super Mario Brothers plumbing service. And the song that was being played was the theme song for the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And also, uh, in the um, commercial, there was a scene where Mario and Luigi were wearing yellow caves, which is a reference to Super Mario World, where uh, the yellow caves can be achieved when uh, grabbing a feather. And you know, after the commercial, Mario and Luigi were talking about it and, well, uh, they were also, uh, and the person was their former boss, Spike. Now, I was surprised that he was called Spike because, well, um, the only Spike I know of from the Super Mario franchise, I mean, yeah, franchise, is that um, one of the Cooper kids. Uh, because it was my name, Spike. And I also remember that um, there was a character named Spike in the live action Super Mario movie. You know, Iggy and Spike. However, when I was doing some research before making this video, I learned that. Um, there was this other character called Spike in the game Wreck Wrecking Crew, which Mario and Luigi were also part of. And also, um, in the movie, Wrecking Crew is a name of the company that um, Spike's in charge of, and you know, what Mario and Luigi used to work at, but then decided to um, leave Wrecking Crew and start their own plumbing service. Now, um, Eventually, they got a call for the first job, and it was in this house where, um, well, a couple was having trouble with um, the sink in the restroom. And then, um, well, when I, I was expecting Mario and Luigi to find a secret work while working on the drain, and that was part of the Super Mario, what was cartoon film lyrics from the Super Brothers Super Show. But no, that didn't happen. What happened was that, well, um, for one thing, well, uh, the dog Francis, well, uh, was upset because Luigi uh, stepped on uh, his uh, palm by accident. And then, um, well, uh, as I was trying uh, to get a job done, well, um, Something went wrong with the plumbing and, well, the whole, everything got flooded and, well, 
the first Jaffa's plumbers didn't turn out so well. Later that night, Mario and Luigi were having dinner with their family. And well, um, yes, uh, the brother's father, well, uh, he was, uh, you know, so keen on Mario and Luigi you know, uh, leaving their um, previous job just so they could start something else. Uh, and there's another, also in that same scene, well, uh, Mario's, Ma Mario and Luigi's mother, they, well, uh, she offered Mario some mushrooms, but Mario said he doesn't like mushrooms. It's ironic because, you know, in the games, mushrooms are a power-ups. Now, uh, shortly after dinner, Mario was playing, was in his bedroom playing a video game on the original Nintendo console. And well, when I first saw it, I thought he was playing Legend of Zelda. But uh, after uh, doing some research, um, well, it turns out that it was in uh, Legend of Zelda, it was Kid Icarus. So, um, yeah. Well, anyway, um, on the news, the, uh, um, well, Adus was playing on the TV, and well, uh, they were talking about a flooding in Brooklyn, and Mario thought that this was a good opportunity for um, both him and Luigi to uh, make a name for themselves. So they went to the flooded area and uh, tried to figure out how they can fix it. And then, um, well, Mario and Luigi ended this man uh, manhole and well, they ended up in some kind, they found some kind of area that, uh, very strange and, well, um, that, uh, scene uh, made me think of the one from the live action movie where Mario said, it's a plumber's nightmare. No, uh, Mario and Luigi eventually, uh, found this green pipe and then they got sucked in. And uh, they entered some kind of um, a void, and uh, well, they tried to sit together. However, they got separated, and Mar Luigi went, went somewhere unknown. And well, Mario uh, arrived um, at the other end of the pipe, and he arrived in a field uh, filled with giant mushrooms. And Mario said that it was a cruel irony. And well, um, as Mario was walking around, well, um, he was like getting closer to this blue mushroom and then Toad came and told him not to touch it or he will die. But then uh, Toad realized that he made a mistake and the mushroom is fine. And uh, Mario uh, told Toad, you know, about the situation with him and Luigi and Toad said that um, the only person who can help him is the princess. So... Mario and Toad went to, oh yes, um, went on the way to the Mushroom Kingdom. As for Luigi, well, um, uh, he ended up in the Darklands, and, well, one of the things he found was a, um, some kind of strange skull. Turns out, it was the skull of dry bones. And then more dry bones came along, and, well, uh, Luigi was running, and he entered a mansion. Which has got a reference to Luigi's Haunted Mansion. And, um, shortly after he got in, he realized that he wasn't alone because it was inhabited by shy guys. Now, back to Mario and Toad, they finally arrived at the Mushroom Kingdom and there were different mushroom people like Toad. And also, they were all called Toads. Yes, and, um, there was one pretty the scene where um, one toad was only another toad that um, about this cartridge and had to blow into it, and that was a reference to you know, to uh, cartridges for the original Nintendo, where you know people would often blow into them. I myself did it, you know, when uh, a game wasn't seem to be working properly. Uh, also, um, there were uh, pipes and other reference to past Mario games. And also, the music that was playing in that scene was um, one of the music from Super Mario World. 
Oh yes, it was a floating flex and stuff. And well, anyway, um, Mario and Toad finally arrived at the castle, and well, um, they explained to the two car toads about they needed to see the princess, and well, um, one of the car toads said, "Sorry, Mario, but the princess is inside under castle." I laugh at that uh, when I first uh, heard it, and well, um, there was also a reference to. The original Super Mario Brothers game, where, um, well, depending on each level that, um, where Bowser keeps getting defeated, and that was what Mario be told, you know, until um, he gets to the actual princess. No, a Toad, he, um, yes, he, uh, started to uh, grab his pen and it looked like he was about to attack, but what he was really doing was going to cook something for the guard toads and um Toad told Mario to take an opportunity to go inside the castle and look for the princess. So um he did and was uh, amazed by, you know, what the inside of the castle was like. And he went around and finally he found Princess Peach. And uh yeah, it's kinda of feel uh, weird, you know, uh calling her that because, well, um, in the cartoon series, she was called Princess Toadstool. And she also had red hair instead of blonde hair. But anyway, um, yes, as, um, Mario, uh, ran to the princess, but then he was uh, ambushed by toads. And then, well, uh, Peach, she, uh, well, I don't know what's going on, and surprised that uh, Mario is a human. Because she never seen a, um, Human being before, or at least another human being. But anyway, um, well, Mario told Peach, you know, about Luigi and that he wanted to go and find him. And um, Peach said that uh, she's uh, that it's too dangerous for Mario and that uh, she should leave it to him. I mean, to her. But Mario insisted on going and well. Peach said, uh, uh, to see what he's made of. And when Mario asked if that's a yes, she said, that's a, let's see what you're made of. So, um, she showed Mario to, uh, this obstacle course. And, um, uh, this obstacle course was like a, a bunch of platforms, like, in a lot of the Mario games. And, well, Peach, she went first to, uh, show, uh, Mario how, it's on, so, well, she did everything right and managed to, um, get to the flag. And then it, it was Mario's turn and, well, he, uh, shortly, uh, didn't, uh, do well. And there was a reference to how, you know, when people play a Mario game for the first time, they, um, don't uh, do well at first, and it takes time to uh, get better. And, um, well, uh, Peach told Mario about the power ups, and one of the power ups was the um, a mushroom. And, well, uh, Mario told Peach that he hates mushrooms, but she forced Mario uh, to mushroom, and he became big, which is a reference to the games when, um, when Mario, uh, uses a red mushroom, it makes him bigger. And then he got a little better, however, he got hit and lost his power up, and uh, Peach said that um, he, he loses, uh, well, um, he won't lose a power ups, only if he gets hit. I mean, yes, hit. Which also reference to the games where, you know, that if uh, you get hit uh, while well, using a power up, then you lose a power up, and yeah, and you know, uh, he didn't, well, Mario well, uh, was getting better, but was he wasn't there yet, but, but you know, he didn't give up, and eventually he finally, uh, well, he started doing better so far, and then uh, at night, uh, Mario and Peach were talking, and you know, she told Mario that nobody Kiss it the first time, and when uh, Mario asked Peach uh, how many uh, tries it took her, she 
well, uh, I think she said many times, but then Mari realized that she got it right the first time. And, you know, Peach admitted that. No, um, at, uh, Bowser's castle, I think it was, when, um, Bowser was talking his, to his armies, you know, the Koopas, the Goombas, and what Bowser referred to as whatever those things are, which of course are spinies, and well, um, in the games, you cannot jump on them, and the only way you can defeat them by touching them is, uh, you use the Power Star. Well, anyway, um, yes, uh, he told his army about, uh, you know, evaded the Mushroom Kingdom and used the uh, Power Star to, uh, see, oh yes, um, well, so he can marry Princess Peach. And uh, everybody was surprised and, well, um, despite knowing that uh, Peach hates Bowser, but Bowser said that's what makes him laugh even more. Then, um, uh, well, back to Mario and Peach, well, um, they started on a journey and Thor came along and, well, when, uh, Peach was surprised that there was a Thor was brave enough to go with them on the journey, that, oh yes, and the journey is that, uh, well, um, Peach, he, and, uh, well, uh, she wanted to go to the Kongs so they can have, uh, the armies help them out. Of course, um. It was difficult, be difficult, you know, to um, convince uh, their leader to um, join forces. But uh, anyway, yes, they went on the journey and they've been many different areas. One area in particular is um, this filled with Yoshis, you know, green Yoshis and pink Yoshis, and you know, there was also a, um, a desert area with upside down pyramids floating in the sky. Which I think is from Super Mario Odyssey. And let's see, um, yeah, see, uh, they were walking around. And also, um, Mar uh, well, Mario and Peach, uh, were talking at night, and, um, uh, Peach, uh, well, she used a fire flower to, um, but anyway, um, yes, Mario and Peach were talking, and, well, Peach talked about her, uh, that uh, she knew the those of her life because, well, um, when she was a baby, she somehow ended up in the Mushroom Kingdom and, well, um, the adults raised her and when she became an adult, they made them the princess. And, well, Peach, she doesn't really know where she really came from and... Well, Mario said that maybe she comes from his world. And uh, what well, Peach said that uh, it's a big universe with lots of galaxies. Which could be a reference to Super Mario Galaxy. Let's see. Um, back at Bowser, well, um, Bowser, he was playing uh, the song called Peaches. Uh, you can watch the whole uh, scene on YouTube. And there are even covers for it. So anyway, yeah, uh, and then well, um, this a uh, wizard Koopa. He uh, told um, uh, Bowser about Luigi and how Mario and Peach were uh, traveling together. So uh, Bowser came in. Uh, he came to Luigi and uh, well, he grabbed Luigi and started to torture him. And well. Luigi first tried to protect him, but however, because of how much he was tortured, he uh, decided, uh, well, he finally told Bowser that he knows Mario, that, you know, that they're brothers, and, well, eventually, <clears throat> after what Luigi told Bowser, well, um, he was put in a dungeon, or in a cage, and, uh, the floating over lava, and, um, the penguins were there, and there was also a Goomba and um, I think it's called a Luminous Star, who's, you know, uh, crazy. And well, I don't know if it was in this thing or later in the movie, but uh, I remember uh, Luigi was having a flashback to when um, 
he and Mario were younger, and they were betrayed that. And this is the scene with uh, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi from the games. Yes. Now, um, Mario, Peach, and Toad uh, eventually arrived, you know, at the uh, the Kong Country, and well, uh, they knock on the door, and the door was a uh, gorilla, and well, um, I think it could be Funky Kong. I could be wrong though, but um, well, he uh, escorted uh, you know, the heroes to uh, the leader, and the leader of the Kongs is Karenki Kong. And well, Peachy well uh, tried to convince Cranky that um, that they need to join forces because you know once uh, a Bowser you know. Gets the whole of the Mushroom Kingdom, then um, the Kongs will be next. And well, Cranky, well, he decided that the only way that he would allow his army to fight beside, you know, the Mushroom people is if they could beat his son. So, and what well, Mario offered to be the champion to take on uh, Cranky Kong's song. And uh, eventually, uh, we get to a scene in an arena, and then we meet a uh, Cranky Kong song, and it was Donkey Kong, you know, with a red tie and everything. And well, um, all the Kongs uh, who are the audience decided to share because you know they all love him, and he was even uh, showboating by the Cranky. Called Donkey Kong to stop doing that and to get on the fight. So of course this is Super Smash Brothers, and um, yes, and they were a part of it as well, and they started to fight. Well, uh, yes, when uh, as soon as scary to fight, well, Donkey Kong he started to beat the Mario, and I was thinking Banana Slamma, since uh, you know that was the theme song to the Donkey Kong Country cartoon series, which was based on the Donkey Kong Country video game for the Super Nintendo. Yes, and um, eventually uh, Mario got the power up, and there was another mushroom, and it was um, eight days so he get bigger. However, it made him smaller because it was the blue mushroom. And well, yes, you see, the red mushroom makes Mario bigger, and the blue mushroom makes Mario smaller. Eventually, he got hit and lost the power up, and um. It seems like Mario wasn't going to um do well. However, he finally got another power up and tried to uh, see what that one does. And um, he got a cat suit, and everyone was laughing. Even Donkey Kong was laughing. But then he realized what his cat suit can do, and um, started to feed. And eventually, Donkey Kong was defeated. And yes, it was you know. This really was a Super Smash Brothers battle. The only thing that was missing was uh, a giant puppy appearing in front of the screen. Well, anyway, um, after the battle, well, um, every um, Kagi Kong and Peach were talking about you know, a strategy plan to uh, get to Bowser. I also remember Kagi Kong. He said that he let Mario win. But anyway, um. Yes, well, Cranky said that, um, well, in order to get to Bowser, they need carts. So they went to a, um, a workshop and, but everybody had to make their own carts and, or at least their own vehicles. And finally, everybody got their own vehicles. You know, Mario and his famous, uh, cart for the video game, Peach and her motorcycle. And you know, everybody else, you know, wearing, you know, the respective vehicles from the Mario Kart series. You know. Yes, and then uh, they left. And everybody, you know, driving, decided to leave the Kong country. And went on the way to Bowser. And when Bowser heard about the... Um, uh, the um, people who are trying to um, 
coming, you know, to, well, he ordered his army to go and go after them. Now, um, but I got the card scene. Well, um, but Lamario and Peach, they were talking at a Donkey Kong game and, um, as if those two were flirting and, no, no, one second, I mean, I think Mario's trying to be friendly, but, um, well, yeah, I mean, there is, I think there could be a hint of romance between Mario and Peach in the movie, but for the time being, they're just starting out as friends. So we'll see what happens if, you know, movies come along. Right now, um, eventually, uh, Bowser's forces came and, um, they started to attack. And one of the Koopas used, I think, a bullet bill. And then the Red Chunk Koopa, well, uh, he, uh, well, he did the famous blue shell thing from the Mario Kart series. And, well, uh, yes, it was, uh, well, I guess it was kind of like Mad Max, but Mario style. And uh, eventually the bridge they were on started to uh, break and, well, um, Mario and Talking Kong fell into the sea. Or maybe it was the ocean, but anyway, they were eaten by Amare. And despite what happened with Mario and Talking Kong, well, um, everybody else decided to. Oh, no, I think they were captured. Yes, and, um, well. Peach? No, no Bowser, he, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were captured and brought to Bowser, and, well, um,. Well, uh, Bowser, as, uh, wait, oh, no, 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 I remember now, um, what happened is that they went to the, well, uh, Beach, Toad, and the Kongs, they went to the Mushroom Kingdom and met up with, um, the other Toads, and tried to find a battle plan against Bowser, and see, um, Back on, um, under the sea, inside the Mario well, Mario and Ducky Kong, they were like, um, were unhappy about, you know, the situation they're in. But then they started to have a moment and, you know, started to get to know each other better and realized that they're not so different at all. And both of them have, you know, uh, can improve themselves. And then uh, they realized that, um, one of the cars have some kind of a rocket thing, and they thought they could use it to escape, and they did, and they're on their way to save everybody. Now, um, back at Peach's castle, well, Bowser finally arrived, and, um, well, he proposed to Peach, well, he, he offered us, uh, yeah, he used a star and, and then he asked Peach to be his wife and, well, she said no. And then Bowser said, well, that uh, if she doesn't become his wife, then he will just kill all the toads. And Peach doesn't want it to happen, so she decided to give in and go on with the wedding. And everything was being prepared. And then, um, yes. Well, anyway, um, let's see. Oh, oh, yes, um. Uh, once the wedding was happening, um. Well, Doe gave Peach, uh, this bouquet. And Bowser was wearing his tuxedo, which was the one he wore in Super Mario Odyssey. And let's see, um. Oh yes, um, then I came all the Bowser's prisoners from, you know, the lava cave and he told, um, Peach that he will be sacrificing them and her honor. And then, uh, oh, and not the guests at the wedding? Well, one of them was King Popon from Mario City 4 and the other one was King Boo. And let's see, um. Oh, and one of the uh, wedding gifts that uh, were brought was the um, white egg with green spots. See, um, 
Now, as soon as the um, wedding ceremony was, uh, began, well, um, there's not the amount of flowers that uh, Peach was using was an, an ice flower, and um, see, oh yes, it, it was used to um, he used to uh um, uh, use it against uh, Bowser to freeze them, and well, uh, when I first saw it, I wondered if that was from one of the games, and you know, out of the movie, I checked that it was. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that um. Mario and Donkey Kong finally arrived at the um at the Mushroom Kingdom, and well um and both and fun, both of them got power ups. Mario got the mushroom that made him big, and Donkey Kong used the Fire Flower. It became Fire Donkey Kong, which was a new thing because you know um nobody has seen Donkey Kong use the Fire Flower before, even the video games. And then, uh, yes, they went and arrived at the wedding. And then, you know, because of what happened with um, at the wedding, well, um, Bowser decided to sacrifice, you know, the princess anyway. However, it stopped and Finn, yeah, Finn was talking Gong who managed to uh, save them. And Mario came and freed his brother and eventually he freed everybody else. And... Yes, it was a big battle, and well, um, Koopa ordered uh, to send out the Bomber Bell, which was about to destroy the Mushroom Kingdom. But, um, well, Mario needed to um, use a power up, to, the right power up, to get it in. Well, he, one was a leaf, and it gave him the, the Nuki suit. And I remember when, you know, this was years ago when it was announced for one of the games, I think it was Super Mario 3D World, when uh, B that, you know, Got upset about it because they thought it um a promote you know um killed the nukies but um it never said it in well I was surprised they did the same thing about the movie but anyway yes uh it made Mario fly and he managed to divert the bomber bill and he um however then the bomber came under him. But but I think uh, he managed to make the barber go inside the love and that's it. But it wasn't over yet because um well something happened I forgot what happened, but some kind of flooding that caused and um with which everybody arrived in the Mario Brothers world. And you know, Koopa and his forces were attacking Brooklyn in uh well, um, Mario was a little high, and then, um, when, when the commercial was airing, he decided to, um, go and, um, face Bowser, and see, um, oh yes, they tried to get a power star, but Bowser didn't make it easy for them, and then Bowser started to pre fire, well, uh, yeah, eventually the power star, you know, Game further and well, yeah. Bowser he was being fire and before Mario could hit Mario, well, Luigi used a manhole cover to protect him. And then when it seemed like all was lost, Mario and Luigi finally um, got the power of the star, where it made them glowing and even the power star music was being played. Somebody goes do 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 like that. So now they're the Super Mario Brothers. And you know, they started to fight Bowser and his forces, and they won. And everybody celebrated. Of course, the man, they should have had a scene where they were, um, decided to have a party, a Mario party. But uh, no, that didn't happen. Yes, and, um, yes, and, well, um, Peach, he, um, she, yeah, she made a, she force fed a blue mushroom to a um Bowser and he became tiny. And um he was put in a jar. And then um in the next scene the well yeah everybody was happy then in the next scene uh Mario was waking up and it reminded me of you know from the end of Super Mario Brothers 2 
where the invasion was a dream, but no, it wasn't a dream because, well, Luigi was there. And he opened the door in and revealed that Mario and Luigi had moved to the Mushroom Kingdom. And the body key, you know, can go for the Mushroom Kingdom to Brooklyn whenever they want. And you know, the doors who are doing constructions, they stop a reference to Mario Maker. Yes, and well, Mario and Luigi have already started the new lives in the Mushroom Kingdom. And you know, they made new friends. And well, that was the end of the Mushroom. Well, I should talk about the end credits as well. And let's see, um, oh yes, well, the end credits would be playing, you know, a lot of music from past Mario games. And let's see, um, yeah. The, of course, the one thing that this, uh, well, um, what wouldn't make the end credits even better if they have played, uh, you know, the Tuto Mario song from, which was the end song of the Super Mario Party Super Show. So, yes, and then, well, there was one mid credit scene, well, um, uh, well, Bowser was, um, well, in his tiny form, was playing, um, uh, the piano, but then one of the car doors told him to be quiet. And then, after the credits, came another scene, where the white egg with the green spots, uh, which was at the wedding, well, um, it was a, um, it ended up in the sewers, you know, where uh, Mario and Luigi started the adventure. And then it started to hedge and we hear a voice saying, Yoshi! Like that. I cannot do the Yoshi voice very good, but uh, it could be a, a teaser for, you know, the next Mario movie. And yeah, that's it. And what I think of this movie... Yeah, it was a fun movie, and I, and I could see why uh, it's doing so well in this right now. And let's see, um... And I yeah, yeah, plan to watch it again someday, but at home, and a regular, with my regular eyeballs. And let's see, um... Whether kids should watch it or not? Well, uh, there's nothing in this movie that, uh... I should, shouldn't watch, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, it's safe for kids uh, to watch, unlike what Disney's doing these days. Because only the, um, I guess the people that do illumination, you know, knows, you know, why uh, Disney is failing and they don't want to make the same mistakes. And I uh, see, um, and I would imagine, like, you know, the discussion about how the move, what should be a this movie and, you know, I guess somebody was suggesting something, but the people at Nintendo said, uh, uh, well, they put the foot down and said, probably said, no way. And the, uh, which is why the movie has become success. Yes, and of course, there are some people who would, you know, do it or make some misconceptions, but you know, those who play the game is, or seem play playthroughs or even bother doing research would know better. And yes, I. And I know critics, I heard the critics uh, give this movie a bad review, but um, I'm not one of those people who will listen to critics, you know. I rather judge the movie for myself. And the kind of people who are film critics these days, well, there was more reason to uh, not take them seriously. Oh, and also, you know, before watching this movie, I also um, rewatched the live action Mario movie, you know, uh, to um, be ready and. See if there's any scenes that uh, reminded me of it, and well, yeah, there are a few scenes. So I don't see. Yeah, I think that's all I can say about the new Super Mario movie in this video. And also, please subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot. And also, please share this video on social media like Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. So that's it, and I'll see you next time. Trust the funkies.